Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining me again for another video. We are concluding our journey through the Pirates of the Caribbean films with Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I'm pretty excited for you to watch this one considering that it is, as of now, the end of the franchise. Uh, but there's some stuff, but we'll, we'll get into that later. I have some feelings on this one. Like I said in the last video, there's kind of a gap between when On Stranger Tides came out and this one, like a good I wanna say like six years between the two. So they've been kind of spaced out after the original trilogy. So uh, some time has gone by for us as the audience. Of course, us watching in real time, not that much. So just keep that in mind. Uh, how are you feeling going into this one in relation as well to watching On Stranger Tides and the original trilogy? You know, I'm really excited about this. I'm curious if Elizabeth and Will are going to make an appearance. Um, that's kind of always in the back of my mind. It didn't seem likely just how the last movie went. I mean, there was no mention of them, no appearance whatsoever. So far, I feel like the Pirates movies have been pretty good, especially since we're on the fifth. Yep. I feel like that's a tough feat to keep that momentum going for that long. So they've done a pretty good job of that, but you know, I haven't heard the reception about this one, so I'm not sure if it's, you know, absolutely horrible or if it's generally liked. Of course, going into it with an open mind, but I say so far, the movies have been pretty good. CG have been pretty good. The storylines have been very unique, different. They've mixed up the characters. There's been new characters every time. So very curious to see how they're gonna end this, whether it's gonna be on a good note or just kind of like Dexter, absolutely horrible at that. So we'll see. And let's not forget the comment of the day. This one comes from Nicholas Johansson, who said, Barbosa is really the glue that holds this franchise together for me. I love Barbosa. I wouldn't say he's the glue for me. I, I really feel like Jack Sparrow is like the heart and soul of the franchise. And I think the filmmakers know that too. That's why they inject him in all these movies and make sure he is there. But I do love Barbosa. I'm disinclined to acquiesce to your request means no. He's great, I, I absolutely love him. How do you feel? Do you think Barbosa is the glue for you? He's up there. I agree that like Jack is the main glue, but um, I feel like the films would not be the same without Barbosa. True, um, very He true. just brings a certain element to it that none of the other characters do. And he's likable, you know? He, he's not a great guy, but his character is very lovable. So he is, he's, I mean, one of my favorites next to Jack. Let us know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. We might pick your comment for a comment of the day. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this one. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I've not seen that before with a little thunder effects in that intro. I haven't seen a Jerry Bruckheimer movie aside from these in a while. Like this intro, I don't see anymore. Are they making any more? I don't know. Saying that they're talking about it. What year was this? 2017. Okay, so not that long ago. This was before the Amber Heard stuff, right? Yes. I feel so bad that his reputation and like like all of his greatness has been tainted now. I do too. I feel like Amber Heard is one of those people where you can clearly tell she's just not a good person. Oh my gosh, I feel like my worst fear. It's being dragged to the bottom of the ocean. That water sim. I said I'd find you. Look at me, son. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I know a way to break your curse. The trident of Poseidon can break your curse. The trident can never be found. I found you. I won't stop. I want you to come home. Aww. That's cool. Henry, you must let me go. I love you, son. I like it. Yeah. Juicy. Starting off strong. You pathetic bilge rats. You'll pump the bills. This kid is Robin in the Titans show, I think. That's supposed to be his son? Who's to say? Turner! Oh. What do you say? Turner. Oh, yeah, that's his son. <laughs> Chase her down. I need to get me one of them hats. I love the Bermuda Triangle. Sir, trust in what I say. Change your course. I don't know what his game plan here is. Treason. 
Yeah, I mean, that was just pretty stupid. Oh, he's obviously a little... I mean, I get that he's damaged. probably going to be right, but that was not the best way to go about that. Jack Sparrow. Buried in an unmarked grave on the Isle of St. Martin. We went to St. Martin, didn't we? Nope, we're going to. Oh, we're going there for our honeymoon. Yeah. Sir, there's something in the water. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I really like the uh, CG hair thing they do. What are you? Where are those transmissions? What have you done with those plans? Uh, Everyone can walk through bars in these movies. Uh, Jack Sparrow. Uh, 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 You're looking for him. Hang on, I know him from somewhere. Javier Bardem. Need to oh, okay. Boy. I always leave one man alive to tell the tale. I think he's married to Penelope Cruz. Yeah. yeah. No country for old men. I need the dentist. And on that day, death will come straight for him. Yes. <laughs> the men tell no tales. Wow. The most secure banking institution in the Caribbean. I'm so sorry, sir. We just escaped to the chains. Duh. There he is. <gasps> they really didn't age him at all. Mm -hmm. And this is supposed to be what? Yeah. 15, 20 years? Yeah, something like that. A good bit of time later. Hold your <laughs> Never mind about that, Trollop. That's your wife. <laughs> Francis. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him standing there. No woman's ever handled my Herschel. <laughs> I believe that. You know what this reminds me of? What? Speed 2. <laughs> I love Speed 2. It's not I know, like an Oscar. I know what it is. Okay, I'm just... <laughs> it's a guilty pleasure movie. I've adjusted two degrees north. Your map will no longer be imprecise. You're a witch. No, I'm... Witch! Help! There's a witch and a pirate in my shop! Well, it's your lucky day! Well, that's lucky. Very lucky. <laughs> you call this a ship? <laughs> Bad luck dogs you day and night. Fabrication. <laughs> <laughs> We've reached the end of the horizon. Oh. Never sail with Captain Jack Sparrow again. Tell you that. That was rude. Very. Who are you? Tell me why you seek the trident. You've read the ancient text. In each language they were written. Excuse you. Only he wishes my <laughs> father will have to save me. Find us a ship. You two, check the gun. The rest of you, with me. <laughs> my God. Oh. <laughs> May I please have a drink, please? <laughs> May I please have a drink, please? I bet I tried. Give me the bottle. Ooh, these guys are so scary. Yeah. That sparrow has given away the compass. <laughs> Come to daddy. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. He's just having a bad day. I know. Oof. That looks really good though. Yeah. It's like an infinity stone. The stars lead to an island. I'm looking for a pirate, Jack Sparrow. 
Bottom. Isn't his mother wondering where he is? <laughs> I just happen to be Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> it can't be. The great Jack Sparrow is not some drunk. <laughs> Who even have a ship? A crew? Pants? <laughs> Son of Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan. Ugh. You're the evil spawn of them two. <laughs> Does Mummy ever ask about me? <laughs> no. Nick, like a giraffe and two. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, yes. <laughs> a message from someone you know, named Captain Salazar. Quite happily, he's dead. Very, very dead. Ship went down. Inside the triangle. An army of dead are coming straight for you, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Oh, nice upgraded his leg. Old the lion. lion. Yeah. Um, it's your ships, sir. Oh, it's the guys from the first ones. He leaves one man from each vessel to tell the tale. What would the dead be wanting with me? They're searching for a sparrow. Jack. Is this a treasure worth dying for? I'm a pirate. Time to make a deal with the dead. Jackie boy! How's it going? Can't complain. How's it go? You? The oceans have turned. Why are the guys like... I know. Why are they allowing this? Your invention. The guillotine. Sounds French. I love the French. Did you know that they invented... Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, me mine. <laughs> He's having a sip on me. Uh, I'm a bedwetter. <laughs> <laughs> Francis? I have to walk upstairs as well for this. Bring the basket. <laughs> 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 I'd kill to be standing right now. Gets the crowd involved, doesn't it? Gets the crowd involved. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> If you could just be patient. No! My head's about to be lopped off, hence the urgency. My heart's missing. Oh, here goes Spider Man coming in here. <sighs> He's not very good at this. Another news. I'm just a diversion. Oh no! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> she could probably move. There's some slack in that rope, you know. <laughs> gotcha! We are to be allies. Considering where your left hand is, I'd say we're more than that. We find the trident together. Well, I had your words. You are far from port that is my turn. Are you sure? Please don't let go of me. What could possibly go wrong, eh? She floats! Where's his sword from uh, On Stranger Tides, the one that can control the ships? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Every time I tap my sword, one of your men will die. Only I eat. Jeez. Wake up, Sparrow! Take it to him, and you will live to tell the tale. Yeah, have no word. Ole, you can take what's left of them. Why should I trust you? You trusted me to hold your port, remember? Nice. There is no map in this map. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an astronomer. Ah, ah, she breaks stone keys. <laughs> Luke Skywalker over here. She has turned to blood. Might I suggest you entice her with a bit of flattery? Turn out to be the love guru. <laughs> Never pursue her sister. <laughs> so we've both spent our lives searching for our fathers. And have you killed thousands of men? No, 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 men, no, 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 pirates, eh? For generations, taking the look at him. My father, yeah. His father before. I really like the music in this one. Yeah. Their wretched flags will no longer stain the sea. There's no mercy. It's up to you now, Jack. Points towards what you want most. Never betray it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How'd they do that? Was that like... Just de-aging tech. Looks like a face replacement, another actor. It's a little rough. The last of their ships were burning. I say that, we're so spoiled, I feel like. The hardest thing to do, realistically, is the face. It's a lovely day for a sail, isn't it? 
<laughs> and then... You surrender to me now and I'll let you live. Simple. You stood there looking like... Like a little bird, eh? Jack the Sparrow. Found this promised. I'm also a horologist. <gasps> <laughs> no shame in that, dear. <laughs> we all have some. A living, eh? Wasn't it? Your mother was academically inclined. More like uh, horizontally <laughs> reclined. Jeez. <laughs> Savage. I like these ghostly crew. So they do have. I. I was just thinking that. This has gone far enough. No, it has not. <laughs> Carry on. Carry on. I saw her ankles. You'd have seen a lot more if you kept your cake holes shut. <laughs> I saw her ankles. <laughs> you would leave me for some horologist in her knickers? <laughs> yes. You men are all in line. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeez. Chuck. Uh oh. How do they do this? We have to swim for us. Take the wheel and uh, you take the captain's hat. Proudest moment of my life. <laughs> we will beat your captain to death until he reveals where they're heading. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? The unscratchable itch. Scabies. I'm talking about scabies. <laughs> Help me. Help her. And she's my poor widowed. <laughs> You've been looking for a respectable man. The Jill have to do. Honeymoon in the barn. Uh, <laughs> ooh, 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 what are those things? Our children. Uh, yeah, I've got scabies. So <laughs> Object to these nuptials. I do. Congratulations. <laughs> Kiss the bride. Ugh. Uh, come on. Uh. He always has quite an entrance. I know. He's so dramatic. Did you bring me a gift? <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> the fastest ship I know. There's the sword. Oh. Nice. Oh wow. Maybe it's cold. Huh? She needs to see. <laughs> Maybe it's cold. Arosa actually is like a smart guy. Yeah, he is. Time to race the dead. You're not gonna find anything sharp. Is that the guy from uh, The Dark Knight? Just like Christmas. That guy? Bill's rap. Ew. Oh, please, I don't want to be kept in it. That one's a lot nastier. Where did you get that from, Missy? Well, there was a ruby on the cover I would not soon forget. The memory of my father will not be defiled by the tongue of a pirate. Brightest star in the north gave me my name. That would be Karina. Karina Smith. So you do know your stars. Wait, is that his daughter? Did we not once know someone called Smith? We both take the secret to our graves. You mean it is true? I was bluffing. I'm not! <laughs> How could you produce a fetching creature such as that? Margaret died. I thought the ruby might afford her some ease in life, but I never imagined she'd take those scribblings. You want Jack? Dinner. I want to eat him. I want to eat that man. No deal. <laughs> Jack always ends up in the position to barter. I know. Like, They're in the pearl, though. They should be able to outrun this ship. Oh. Okay, so he's not just going after pirates. At this point, anything that stands in his way. Yeah. Like he was saying before, he's never, he doesn't kill men. He only kills pirates. And this is the pearl. Well, you 
sharp and it was butter. <laughs> <laughs> Barbosa should be able to use that sword to like make the ropes and stuff do things. Nice. Ah! The island is there! You found it! Ah! Ah! It's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. The island. Stars. This is the map no man can read. One star's missing. Quickly. I think you should know she's a horologist. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Why isn't it glowing? Finish it, Kamina. For my father. I do it for him. They've really seen a lot of stuff, haven't they? Yeah. Like they've just been through a lot. Look at Moses over here. Look. Poseidon's tomb. Time to heal his barrow. No! There it is. But there's like Aquaman right by it. I know, that's what I was thinking. You got the boy, Jack. Come on, Karina. Henry! Oh, jeez. Divine. Oh, uh, guys. They probably should get out of there. Yeah, fast. that's what I'm saying. Y'all need to move. Uh, it's Moses. They're pretty deep down there. I don't yeah. know if they could swim back up. Oh, nice. Dang it, Karina. I've got some. Aww. Oh. Treasure. He's like a sweet dad. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know he's killed a lot of people, right? I like him. Hold on! <gasps> oh my god, they're not killing him off. Oh my god. Need some Spider-Man assistance. Aww. Why does this keep happening? Like all my favorite characters. Aww. Aww. Hmm. <laughs> it's not all gone, Miss Smith. Barbosa. My name is Skywalker. Rose Dawson. That's Dawson. Rose Dawson. Therefore. <laughs> Although, one. Apology accepted. The Dutchman. Aww. You know, he just wants to know where Mom's at. I know. Henry. Yes, Father. There we go. Oh. Only waited, what, 18 years? Yep. What a truly revolting sight. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, monkey. Thank you. I'm gonna kill our monkey. I have a rendezvous beyond my beloved horizon. All right. Post credit scene. What is that supposed to Those be? Those are barnacles. Just finished Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. I, well, I'll, give, I'll let you give your thoughts first. What did you think of this one? I didn't think it was a horrible movie. I thought it was pretty decent. It's probably my least favorite though. Really? Out of the Pirates movie. But as far as a movie as a whole, it was good. My favorite thing about this movie was the ghost pirates. I thought they were absolutely terrifying. The main guy, I don't remember what the character's name was. Captain Salazar. Salazar. He like knocked it out of the park for me. He was really, really great. I thought he did a great job. As far as the character of Karina and Henry, I know that both of them by the end of the movie were supposed to be this like, these big characters. Karina who turned out to be Barbosa's daughter. And then of course, Henry who's Elizabeth and Will's child. They should be like, big characters, but to me, I really didn't have any like emotional connection to them. They weren't like Karina. It may have been the actress that they chose, but she just didn't do anything for me. Um, I didn't really care about her character. But on the flip side of that, I really like the idea of Barbosa having a daughter. I think it kind of gives his character a little bit more dynamic to it, knowing that he has this history. And he's not just some like cold pirate captain, you know? He actually had connections and a previous love in his life. And I don't know if she's been in anything else. I didn't notice her. She just didn't do anything for me. So I think if they had chosen a different actress, that really could have made the movie maybe, uh, you know, in the top two but didn't really care. And then the character of Henry also, I like the idea of their son kind of growing up and following in his footsteps and trying to free him from the curse. Um, I like that idea, but again, he didn't, I just didn't have any connection uh, with him. Those were probably my biggest nitpicks on this movie. Loved having Barbosa back. I love that they had Will and Elizabeth kind of make an appearance. They were very, very small appearances, but I was thinking about it and I think that worked well for this movie. Not having them kind of take over the movie, but they still made their presence. So I did like that. Jack as normal, I think this was actually one of the funnier movies with him, so I thought that was great. The CG was a little rough on this one, like the sharks and some other stuff, but I did really like the effects of the ghost pirates. But yeah, th the biggest thing for me was just the, I guess you can call them the supporting characters. They just didn't do anything for me, and I think they could have really added to it, but for whatever reason, they just, uh, fell flat. The storyline in general, again, it's probably one of my favorites, like on paper, just what's going on in the movie. But is it your least favorite or your or your favorite? The, the, the story itself, like the fact that they have this ghost crew that is wanting to get revenge um, against Jack Sparrow, who pretty much forced them into being ghosts. I think that was fascinating. I really, really do. Everybody's always after Jack. The supporting characters didn't do anything for me. So that was my biggest complaint. But besides that, I thought it was a pretty good film for it being the fifth one. So um, I wasn't disappointed as far as that goes. So yeah. I think I enjoyed this one quite a bit. I'm really glad that On Stranger Tides was not the final film. That one to me is significantly the weakest, I think, of all of them. This one, I felt like it was more of a Pirates movie. I think that this one was a pretty strong one, in my opinion. I liked Salazar a lot. Uh, we talked a little bit about Blackbeard in the last one. I felt like he was kind of underdeveloped, not utilized well, and I really feel like Salazar, I get him, I get his motivation. I love the little flashback sequences. 
character design of him and all the crew were awesome. I loved the way that they looked. I love the hair flowing thing that they did. The whole stuff with Henry makes sense to me. Uh, he's the son of Will and Elizabeth Turner and he wants to get his father free. I like how they showed the little sequence at the beginning where he talks to him and he's like, I'm gonna free you. The Trident is gonna free you. And he pursues that. Um, I think all of that makes sense. Convenience wise, Karina, probably too, too coincidental them kind of running into her and her being this person that just so happens to be Barbosa. Too coincidental, I don't really like that. Her as a character, I think is okay. I think she's fine. I think that they were really trying to find a way to sort of join the world of Turners and Barbosa and having their offspring kind of get together at the end is uh, how they wanted to do that. I just think it was too coincidental for Karina. The Trident stuff is cool. I would have liked to have seen more about like how that even like came to be because they always talk about the myths and whatnot, but we don't actually see them like come into fruition. We just sort of see the after effect. All this stuff happened in the past and is part of mythology. And then we just come upon the Trident. So I'd be really curious to see more of like this world's Poseidon and Calypso and like these gods, like how much of it is real in this universe and how much of it is actually fake. They seem to imply that all the myths are real. Jack Sparrow is uh, witty, like Jen said, kind of funnier in this movie, I think, than some of the others. I think given what they had to work with, this is probably a best case scenario. I, I think it's a pretty strong Pirates film. I didn't really care for Penelope Cruz's character in the last one, so I personally am kind of happy that that's just kind of, kind of like, eh done away with uh, for now. Uh, at the post credit scene of that one, she finds the little voodoo doll of Jack but hasn't done anything with it. It's been five years in movie, they said. It was nine years from when he was a boy, Henry Turner, but five years from On Stranger Tides to now. So she hasn't done anything in that time. I thought the CGI was hit or miss. I think that there were some sequences that were outstanding, that were like really great. I think the Pirates crew is a good example of that. Some of which, like Jen mentioned, some of the shark stuff didn't look all that great. Uh, some scenes I thought they did look pretty good and some were like, oh, that's pretty rough. Young CGI uh, Jack Sparrow, I thought was kind of wonky. I, at this point in time, they're still kind of experimenting, working on it. Captain America, the first one, had already come out and I feel like they did the best job of, maybe not de-aging, but like making somebody look smaller or younger. And this one, it looked like a, another actor that they had just sort of put this younger face of Johnny Depp on. I mean, even today, we're still working on it. The Mandalorian season two, we talked a little bit about Luke Skywalker not looking that great. And then Book of Boba Fett, where we see Luke again looking pristine, like almost perfect. So still working on it. I think this is gonna be a movie where we're gonna look back on in the future and like the evolution of facial de-aging or facial replacement is going this is gonna be one of the stepping stones. It's like Tron Legacy and then like Captain America, which wasn't technically facial replacement, but along those lines. Anyway, the storyline I thought was uh, pretty good. I think the whole thing was pretty entertaining. Everything sort of felt natural. Some of my complaints with On Stranger Tides is that it was kind of like a check mark, like, oh, we have to have Jack do this crazy escape. We have to have this uh, prolonged sword fight. This one felt like it was just more a part of the natural progression of the story, which I appreciated a lot. So I actually have some high regards about this. I think they ended on a, on a relatively strong foot, so I would love to see more. But I don't know the general consensus of this one. I think I only saw this one once when it was in theaters, maybe twice, so this one was a bit of a refresher for me. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this one down in the comments below. Jen, what would you rate this one? There were certain scenes with the young Jack that looked okay, and then there would be other scenes where it, it did look rough. So it was very, very spotty. But overall, I thought it was a Good film, I, I think it is probably, it's either my least favorite of the pirate films or it's the second. So I'm gonna go with the 7.5. I still think the original trilogy are the best. I think they're the best. I don't remember what the, like, the lowest I rated them. I think I don't think I rated anything under an eight for the original. Maybe I did, maybe I did one a 7.5, but for this one, I think was pretty good. A couple of things we talked about. I think I'm gonna go with a 7.5 as well. Pretty good flick. But again, just our opinions. I'd love to know your thoughts. I know a lot of people told us to skip four and five entirely, but I'm glad we watched uh, at least this one. <laughs> uh, but again, let us know down in the comments below what you thought. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It does help the channel out quite a bit. Subscribe so you'll be notified next time. We did ro uh, run a poll on Patreon. So we're gonna be getting into the next movie series here very soon. If you would like some voting power in the future, as well as help us support the channel, consider joining Patreon. It's a great way to do that. 
As always, Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everyone.